Well, hey guys, uh, here's a little video, a history of my Grand Sport OEM wheel. You can tell in the middle of the video, this is my 2017 Grand Sport when I picked it up during 2017 when it was new. Now it's two years, three years old, two and a half years old. So, um, yeah, I powder coat this wheel a few times. You'll see the full history how I went about. Right now is November 5th, 2020. So this wheel got powder coat at least four times. Okay, you can tell this is a gloss black wheel from the factory. Gloss, high gloss black. And this is the color I was looking into. I really like this color. And end up I uh, found someone actually had this color I can order from with a brand new set of a uh, forge wheel from Boxen. And uh, I have to test it out, see if I like this color. So I bring my car down, $500, they will mount and demount this cup, this wheel entire and put on this uh, shocker yellow. Just come pick up my powder coat. Shocker yellow, powder coat, super chrome. Very moment as I'm looking at this, the color is a little off. It's not very bright. It's dark. Uh, it's underneath if they put a silver, but it's just dark green. So this is the hotel I stay in in Las Vegas, LA, SLS. And even under the sun, it doesn't look bright. It's just dark green. And so on the box, and I was ordering this thing. I didn't really like the color, but I, I mean, I was hoping that boxing color is going to be great. They used to have this boxing 3D. You can play with different wheel size, different wheel type on the, on the website and different colors. So this is the screen recording when I was picking on my wheel at the time. I record this for my wife so she can look at to tell me which color she liked better. End up she picked this uh, green color, this Boston green, which is exactly the picture I want the color I want, so I was hoping it's not the dark green when I actually get it. Hopefully not. And it does take a little while to make this wheel, about 8 to 12 weeks, 2 to 3 months. In the meanwhile, we went ahead and powder coat again, we stripped it, re-powder coat it. Apparently, uh, in the Prisma color, there's two. It's a darker one and there's an ultra bright one. So we actually end up got the correct powder to match the picture I was looking at and the Boston. So it's a bright green color so people have to be aware. Shocker yellow, that's two different colors. And you're looking at this, this is when we open the box, the, the wheel just beautiful, glowing. Uh, obviously it's a high, high polished wheel. Look at that on a high polish wheel on the clear coat so this particular powder coat is a clear translucent powder coat so two years later uh, because the wheel is so bright makes the car look floaty so I was thinking to bring the color back uh, using black wheels and hopefully look more lowered so out of about 65 people who voted 46 people like the middle and also I got a re powder coat the brackets so end up actually making new brackets and this is the progress how I start that new powder coating so I just got this Corvette wheel stripped stripped cleaned it like there's a little banging up oh, but uh yeah it's a uh, stripped the wheel looks like it's fine there's no damage Coming around the other side, looks good. I go to the particle company now, drop this off. Looking pretty good. Just pick up the wheels from the particle company. And it's looking good. Looking very good. This is uh, not a matte, but it's not glossy. It's kind of a flat black. Uh, used for industrial use. It's also the same color as the APR 
performance as a wing. It's really nice powder coat. It has a glossy feel to it. But it's not high gloss. Nice. Also, it's not super flat. Very durable, this powder. Very durable. Look at this angle. Get a pretty good feel what the car is going to look like. And this is the rear. The tires are here. So these are the Pilot Sport Cup 2 for the rear. And the Eagle F1 for the front. All from East Coast. And there's the bracket. I have to wash this a little bit. I guess it's been outside. Cup 2. Eagle F1. APR matte black. See how this looks on the car. F1, 80% tread for the Cup 2 used ones. Perfect tire from Texas. And that one's from Minnesota or Pennsylvania. So they're perfect condition from a certified wholesaler. I will remove the Voxens. The Voxen will need to be powder coated, sent back to Voxen, and repolished and put a different color on it. I was gonna do it myself, but it sounds like there's a lot more work. And also they can resurface it if any. Yeah, it's about uh, five to six hundred dollars per wheel to strip it and uh, we powder coat this, polish and we powder coat this to a different color plus shipping back to me um, all the way from California to Florida it's about just under three thousand dollars to re recolor this wheel so I, I went with the cheaper route right now just to see what an OEM wheel would look like again, this is my guinea pig wheel uh, I know Grand Sport wheel once you uh, heat it, treat it many times it will crack so far this wheel has not cracked, uh, I don't know what other people's doing, somehow their wheel cracked. Look at my new wheel dolly, it's 24 to 36 inch wheel dolly. For the 20 inch wheel I installed right now, I measure it's about 32 inches across. So my wheel dolly really helped because those tires and wheel together are very heavy and try to move them into the lug nuts. I don't want to accidentally hit my, uh, my brake caliper, my bright red brake caliper so the wheel dolly really helped me to uh, move wheels around and also I can rotate it as I'm getting close to mount like right now I'm doing just gotta get the right height and it's done it's much easier than before instead of trying to hold the wheel up in the middle of the air and, and install them and I put anti-seize between the wheels mount them and I have to torque it I torque the wheel it's about 100 foot pounds per lug nut for a Corvette C7. Um, torque it twice. You gotta go through once, then you gotta come back again, and I gotta torque again after a uh, 10 minute drive. So, three times in this process. So, I did torque twice right now. And take this off with uh, my impact driver. This impact driver really saved me so much time now. Um, and I use drill mode to get all the rust away and put the anti-seize. I did not put anti-seize in before and my wheel really hard to take off. Now I have anti-seize, it's so easy. You can see my wheel dolly, how I can rotate the wheel as I'm pushing it up instead of trying to hold the wheel up in the air. I go ahead and put the impact driver just on the middle setting. It's as strong as the air compressor impact driver. It's about $100, I believe I got from Lowe's. It's so good, I come with two batteries. It was on sale during Christmas or Thanksgiving time, I guess. So it was really helpful. Uh, this wheel got seized, I could not take it off. It basically won't come off. I end up had to push a, a bar between the wheel and the brake caliper. A brake rotor to, to pry it open. So the inside of the spoke, this little uh, mark where I scratched it. But it's okay. Um, we're gonna repolish this wheel, anyways, down the road. And I retorque this about 100 foot pounds per lug nut. And I love the look. It's, and the tire actually, the, the gaps is pretty good. It's been lowered it on factory bolts. Thanks for watching, and um, check out my next video once we put the wing the bracket back on. And the car does look much lower, don't you think? Please hit like, subscribe, and comment below, and see you next time.